Hi Scorpio, it is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for February. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's, you know, if it's for you, great. If it's not, just throw, throw it, toss it, whatever. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what comes up. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. Then we're going to get this deck. We're going to use that deck. We're just seeing whatever comes up for Scorpio for February. This is mid-February. Okay, mid-February. Scorpio, what do they need to know? Oh, transformation! Now, Libra had this. You may be dealing with a Libra. I'm not sure. But, I, you know, this is a, a rebirth, okay? This is your card. This is your card. Rising up from the ashes. Death and rebirth. That's what you got going on here, Scorpio. This is the biggest new beginning that you could possibly have. I mean, death comes in to clear your path. So we do have a transformation here where you guys are starting over. You're releasing. You're transitioning. And, you know, it's, it literally is uh, rising up. Scorpio. It's like no longer holding on to what no longer serves you, just releasing it. Definitely a time of transformation, rebirth. Trust. Trust. Have faith. Believe. Trust that this is all happening for a reason. Right now, right now, it's a time of change. You see the owl? The owl is a sign of wisdom. An owl is the sign, it's the highest intuitive wisdom. Okay? So it looks like, you, and this is a, I mean, the owl symbolizes change. If you were to see an owl, it means that you, and an owl symbolizes death. When you see an owl, it means that something is ending big, 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 big. So we have a major life change here. Big time. A big time. I mean, I can't, there's really no other words other than we have a transformation that is happening for you that is going to change your life. Okay, your life is changing and it's changing for the better. You need to have faith and trust in the divine plan at this time. This is, it may be like this is unexpected or maybe you did expect it, whatever it is. I think, I think that you, because this is intuitive, intuitive. So I think that you have, you did expect this and you may want to shelter yourself. You may feel uncomfortable with this change, this transformation, this release that is happening. But this release that is happening, it's happening for a reason. It is. Okay? Accept it. Just go for it. Okay? It's going to bring you something better. What do we got for Scorpio in February? Other than major life transformation, what do we got? You've gained a lot of wisdom from your past experience. And now it's time to trust. It's time to spread your wings. You see the butterfly? It's time to come out of your cocoon. I think that you have been led astray. You've been led astray by somebody um, that didn't even know where they were going. It's like you allowed yourself. It's like you see the blindfold on that guy. I think that you guys were led astray by somebody that... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm having a hard time here. Was weak. 
somebody that was weak, somebody that, uh, you know, couldn't even... take care of themselves you know this person whoever was leading you whoever was leading you astray didn't even know where they were going interesting you could have been dealing with a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius but this could also be you needing to take on this energy of confidence. You need to be confident. You need to hold your head up high. You need to find that force within you to relight that fire within. You need to get creative. Take a new approach. Go on a new adventure. So I feel like you guys are finding the confidence at this time to just, you know... You're making a decision. You're finding the confidence to make the decision that is right for you. I think you're being very logical. I feel like you uh, have definitely made a final decision to stop being led astray. To go on your own. To take the lead. To be the boss, right? It's like, I have to be logical here i got to be logical. I have multiple options and I know it. And I feel like, you know, if you take a look at this card, there's multiple options here. You have choices. And you know it. Remember, we saw that owl. That's the highest intuitive wisdom. You know. You know. You know it's time to release. It's time to release this energy of being led in the wrong direction. It's like it's time. It's time. Time for a change. Time for me to face my fears. Time for me to choose another option. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think that you were uh, being naively guided. I mean, you were, you were being naive. Maybe you were hoping to have a fresh start with somebody that you weren't meant to be with. This is reluctant to move on. So I feel like you have been reluctant to see a new approach. And now you're at this period where you're ready. It's like I'm taking the power back and I'm headed, I'm closing this chapter of my life. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm in the process right now of choosing another option. So I feel like a lot of you are choosing something different and it's like you're taking back your power. You may have been dealing with a Lib Libra, Gemini, Aquarius or a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It looks like we have a change here. This, we do have a change with that change card and the Wheel of Fortune, Destiny. A destined change, of course, which is going to bring you something better. And it's because you be logical and you make a solid decision to... Uh, well, let's see what... Uh, yeah, to close this, to finish this, to step over that finish line, to let go of the emptiness, to complete this chapter. I mean, we have a, we have, we have a phase of your life that is ending. It's like the, the, the place where you've been stuck, it's over. It's over. It is. I see that your life is about to change in a big way. Okay, with the world card, the wheel of fortune, this change card right here, and the death card. I mean, major transformation is on the horizon for you, Scorpio. It is. I think that you have been na uh, naively misguided in the wrong direction. And I think you you were really hoping for something to work out, but now, and I think you've clung to it. I think that you may have clung or somebody may have clung to you. It could go either way. Somebody clung to the, you know, thought that they could um, keep you stuck, whatever, or you stayed stuck. Somebody stayed stuck, whether it was you or the other person. And it's like, no, 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 no. He's got the power. It's like, I'm taking the power back in my hands and changing this destiny. I'm changing this course. It's like you've learned some sort of lesson here about reckless behavior. This is a lesson learned. And this is reckless behavior. The fool reversed. I think that somebody acted recklessly and was 
and allowed themselves to be led astray. And it's like now you've learned some sort of lesson about holding on to people that don't really serve you. Somebody made a wrong choice. It's like now I'm choosing something else now. Yeah, it's like getting unstuck because it is. Seeing things from a different perspective. The hangman is reversed. It's like, I'm not going to be the martyr here. I'm not going to hold on to something that doesn't serve me. I'm standing up for myself. I'm seeing things differently. I'm ready to face this struggle. I'm ready to face this new beginning. I'm ready for this new beginning. So I really feel like you are just about done being in limbo. I do. I see that you guys are finishing up a situation. You've learned some sort of lesson and you're about to step onto a new ground. It's like stepping on new ground, okay? It is. It is. Major change is on the horizon for you. I can't make that shit up. I think that you this you pondered it for quite some time. I think that you've been thinking really long and hard about your future and that you know you've 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 stayed and you've waited and you've hung on to the situation for long enough and it's just like you know what I can't do this anymore. It's time for me to just end it. I mean, we have all these endings here. We do with the with the world and the the wheel of fortune and and this, you know. I feel like we have a major ending of of compromise here. It's like I'm not going to compromise my self for somebody that doesn't even know what they want. Um, I think you realize that you have choices and you're wanting something better. And I think because you are making that decision, that final decision, this is a final decision. It is. Because you're making a final decision, you're going to get something better. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune brings in something really good. It does. It's the, it's the wheel of change. It's the wheel of destiny. And free will does a play does play a part in the wheel of fortune. So I think that because you are making that decision, you're using your free will to accept change. Yeah, well, here comes a blessing. Okay, here comes a reward. And I think what's happening here is you are letting go of a partnership that is not compatible. I mean, that's what this is. That's what this is. I mean, I think there was a false union of some sort that has kept you stuck. It has. And I think that, you know, now you're seeing. Now you're, you, you've you woken up from this slumber. It's like you've waited too long. You know, I think that you were probably dealing with a person, if you are the male or you're the female, somebody here didn't know their worth, okay? This is, this is, a, this is a strong message. There's somebody here that didn't know what they were worth. And they didn't want to deal with pain. And they, they just wanted to stay where they were at because it was comfortable. But I feel like we've come to some sort of conclusion here that it's time. It's time for my birth. It's time for my new life. It's time for me to, you know, be loved. I'm no longer going to just be alone. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone anymore. So I, I, I really feel like somebody has been through some sort of like midlife crisis and they may have been rejected by a person that made them feel like they were less than worthy of love and they kept stuck or whatever and now it's like they've been enlightened. It's like somebody has become consciously aware that I don't need to stay here. I got multiple options here. I got multiple options. Um, if you are the male watching this, you may have been dealing with a woman that was smothering. She was selfish. And she just, it just wasn't compatible. I mean, just saying. I do, if you are the woman watching this, I feel like you didn't know your worth. I feel like you, you, well, you hung on to a, a situation that with somebody that didn't respect you. If you were the woman here, you had you hung on to somebody that didn't see your worth. They thought you were vulnerable. They maybe you got involved in a third party situation, so they never saw your worth, you know, if you anybody that involves themselves in a third party and I'm not judging because I've all been there, you know, we've all been there. We have. The Empress learns through life experience. Okay, so somebody didn't know their worth, and when you when you do that, you don't get the reward. Okay, you don't get a reward for not acting with integrity. So, and I'm not saying that you did. I'm just saying that somebody um, 
didn't know their worth and now they have some pain to deal with because they didn't. You know, you have to be proud of who you are. You have to do the right thing to get what you deserve, to get the good fortune. So anyway, I don't know where that's coming from. So um, I really feel like somebody is wanting to come out of hiding. It's like I really don't want to be stuck here anymore. I don't want to be... in a third party situation. I don't want to be disrespected. I think that you are dealing with an energy thief, somebody that stole your energy, an untrustworthy individual. And I think that now you're seeing the light. This person was kind of like a psychic vampire, whoever it was. And I feel like they, they just didn't have any energy. They didn't have any drive. They didn't, you know, and they weren't being completely honest either with this. You know, they couldn't get up and go. They couldn't, who knows what this is. Yeah, it's like they, it wasn't love or whatever it is. They weren't emotionally available for some reason. Lack of emotion. You may have your heart set or you had your heart set on somebody who was quite literally unavailable. And I feel like you realize that now. It's like, oh God, it's like you've got some sort of epiphany. And that this is too heavy to carry around. This is too burdensome. This is, this is just something I don't need to carry. It's like I have an opportunity for something brand new if I just let go of this burden and let go of this. So I feel like this is a completion as well. It's like I think some of you are making a conscious change to drop somebody that was literally emotionally unavailable and stole your energy. I think you're realizing that you don't need to hold on to this anymore. Because there's no wish fulfillment there. And I think that reject, I mean, this is a card. This is the Nine of Cups reversed, the card of rejection. Um, ego, okay? When you, when, you, when you get rejected, your ego gets hurt and you want to hold on to prove yourself. It's like, why, why would you reject me? I don't understand. That's pride, okay? That's pride getting in the way. We all have it. Nobody is immune, just saying. I feel like you guys are letting go of the need to prove yourself. It's like, you know what, I don't need to prove myself to you anymore. I'm moving on, I'm moving into a better space. I'm moving, I have a new beginning here. And you know, the fixed signs, with it's like you're getting unfixed. I think you held on for quite some time. It's like, I'm not holding on to this anymore. I'm ready. I'm ready to complete this cycle in my life. So what's coming, what's coming in? What's coming in for Scorpio? What's right around the corner? You have options right around the corner. Multiple options and you see it. You got to choose wisely here. Getting unstuck. Taking that blindfold off. Breaking free. Right around the corner. You're breaking free. From somebody that you were committed to. And even if you were committed to them mentally... And you're breaking free from being unhappy. You're breaking free from being discontent. You're breaking free from a partnership that wasn't meant to be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? I can't make that shit up. But you have one that is meant to be because of that wheel of fortune. Change is something better is coming. Once you release you have to completely release. You have to close that door. This is closure. Stop trying to make something work that isn't meant to be. So I don't know who this reading is for. Justice. It's time for you to get what you deserve. Make that final decision. Make it final. This is the final decision. Getting what you deserve because you do the right thing for yourself. You bring balance back to your life when you finalize this, when you do the right thing. I think that you have been weighing, this has been weighing you down. You had to make this heavy decision. You had to make a complex decision. Do I keep holding on to this thought that this is my perfect match? Or do I make the decision to let it go? Because 
with this death card, you let it go. So I really feel like you guys are about to get exactly what you deserve because it looks like you're making the right decision to drop something that has been weighing you down. And that is no joke. So you may be actually getting the justice that you deserve this month because you give up, because you, you let that old situation drop away. So I, this is decision-making month, okay? This is the month where you make the decision. There's no joke. This is, this is the decision being made, but you make the final decision. It's final. Like it's the final drop. It's, it's the end, okay? I'm letting go. I'm releasing. This is decision making time. This, this is what this is. Some of you may be deciding that you want a divorce. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I got to be honest here. If you're married, you may be deciding that you're ready for a divorce. Some of you may, because it's like I can't not be honest. Somebody what hasn't been acting with integrity. Okay, this is what this is, and now they are. It's like, I got to do the right thing here. Karma's a bitch. This is a card of karma. When you don't do the right thing, well, shit rolls downhill. So anyway, I feel like there's some sort of finality that is coming about in um, February, which is allowing you to really break free from something that was not compatible. I'm sorry. It wasn't compatible. It wasn't. You thought long and hard about it, though, and I think you did everything in your power to make it work. I really do. But whoever you're dealing with, it's like they don't want anything. They don't want anything. It's like they don't want your offer. Interesting. And therefore, I think it's like, you know what? There's no need. There's no need for me to put in any more effort here. You're dealing with somebody where they don't respect you. They're not on the same page as you. And it's brought a lack of harmony. And it's like, I want my harmony back. I want my balance back. And I think that right now you're in the process of refocusing to bring the balance back. It's like, Justice, I, I got to get what I deserve. And I deserve more than this. I deserve respect. I deserve companionship. I deserve teamwork. I deserve somebody that actually wants to communicate with me. And I think whoever you were holding on to is, doesn't really communicate very well. And you've been clinging to those memories, right? The Six of Cups reverse. You've been clinging to the thought that this is the only person. No, it's not. You may have been thinking this was your soulmate. Soulmates come and go in a lifetime. This is time to, six is this time to reevaluate. You know, you need, you need to reevaluate who it is that you're holding on to. The memories will always, always be there, but you have somebody else. It's time to take action and trot on out. Act now. Take action right now. Quickly. Leave the past hurts behind. Forgive and move on. You're like, forgive? Yeah, I said forgive. That's a huge life lesson right there, forgiveness. This is a lesson, and I have to tell you, karma lesson, karmic lesson about who you hold on to. If people hurt you, let them go. I really feel like this is a month of transformation. It's a month of release. It's a month of spreading your wings, coming out of your cocoon, becoming wiser for the experience, 
in accepting the change? Is there new love coming in? This is a month of release. Finalizing that last chapter with the World card, the Wheel of Fortune card, and the Death card. This is a month of finalization. Is there new love coming in? No. You're headed to a better place. And it starts with letting go of something that is not compatible. And that's what I got. In the future, you are going to have victory and success. And you're going to get something really good out of this. You are. It's the winds of change. It's the wheel of change. It's going to bring you something much better. The wheel of fortune brings you something better. What is the Wheel of Fortune going to bring, anyway? What is the Wheel of Fortune going to bring? That's what, that's what we would like to know. In the future. In the future. This is the month of change, okay? It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to bring you new love. It's going to allow you to get let go of this pain, this hurt. This is what's going to happen. It's going to bring you happiness. It's going to bring you multiple options. <laughs> it is, it is, it is. You're going, to, you're going to have people competing for your attention. But you're going to have to allow it. You're going to have to relight that fire within. And, and be careful. Be careful. It's not all about sex. You have another opportunity waiting for you. As soon as you stop focusing on the one that hurt you. <laughs> it's judgment day. And then, oh, everybody wants to hear that this is a reconciliation, right? That's what I want to hear. That's what I want the fucking card to mean. Sorry. This is a card at this point of release, forgiveness, acceptance. I'm awake. It's accepting the truth. It's releasing the past. It's not a reconciliation. It's rebirth. It's death and rebirth of you. It's time to live again. Isn't this like rising up from the ashes? It's the phoenix. It is. What are you waiting for? It's like you get this epiphany, like I said. I think I said this. I can't remember if I did or not. My, I dropped my reading so fast. It's like you get this epiphany. It's time to go. So yeah, Scorpio, I feel as though we have a major life transition here that is leading you to a much better place towards, towards new love. I don't think the new love is coming this month. I think it is, this is the month of transition, release, and acceptance. 
finalizing that chapter. I mean, it is. It's over. I accept. It's over. Whatever that means, I don't know. Good luck. Don't forget to find the strength. You have the strength to do this. And it takes strength to persevere. Good luck. <laughs>